Hey everyone! Have you ever looked at your nails and spotted those strange vertical lines going up and down? We call them vertical nail ridges, by the way. And let's be honest, they can be a bit concerning. They got us wondering, are these ridges a sign of some major health issue? Well, don't worry, in today's video we're gonna find out what's really causing them and see if there's anything we can do to get rid of them. So get ready to finally understand what's going on with your fingertips. Let us know in the comments if you ever have any wild theories about what causes ridges. Number 1. Nutritional Deficiencies One of the common suspects behind these ridges is zinc deficiency. This mineral is like the superhero of your body, involved in all sorts of important processes, including nail growth. If you're running low on zinc, your nails might start to show it with those pesky ridges. Another key player is biotin, a type of B vitamin. Biotin plays a big role in making keratin, a key protein in your nails. Its deficiency results in weakened nail structure and slow growth, leading to ridges as the nail grows unevenly. Also, studies have shown that when people with nail ridges took supplements to boost their zinc or biotin levels, their nails started looking better. But hey, before you start loading up on supplements, it's always wise to chat with a doctor or nutritionist. They can help you figure out if your nails are trying to tell you something about your diet and what steps you can take to get them back on track. Number 2. Dehydration Our nails are basically layers of a protein called keratin stacked together. When dehydrated, the body struggles to produce enough keratin to keep up with nail growth. Your body starts rationing water, sending it to the most important places, like your organs. But your nails, they might not get their fair share. So instead of nice, smooth nails, you get those ridges as the layers don't form quite right. But don't panic just yet, it's not like one day without drinking water will suddenly give you ridged nails. It's more about long-term dehydration. So if you notice those ridges, it might be a gentle nudge from your body saying, hey, let's drink up. Keep a water bottle close and take sips throughout the day. Your nails will thank you for it, and your whole body will feel better too. Number 3. Aging As we get older, our bodies start producing less of certain stuff, like collagen and moisture. Collagen is like the glue that holds our skin and nails together, keeping them strong and flexible. When there's less collagen hanging around, our nails become more brittle and prone to ridges. But that's not all. Remember how I mentioned moisture? Well, as we age, our nails can become drier too, and when they're not getting enough moisture, they start to crack and develop those vertical lines. But don't worry, while we can't exactly turn back the clock on aging, there are still things we can do to keep our nails happy and healthy. Making sure to stay hydrated, eating a balanced diet, and using moisturizing nail products can all help minimize the appearance of those ridges. Number 4. Trauma not the physical kind, but the bumping, banging, and rough handling kind can also be behind those ridges on your nails. It could be from something big, like slamming your finger in a door, or something smaller but repetitive, like tapping your nails too hard on a keyboard. When this happens, it messes with the way your nails grow. Instead of growing smooth and nice, they get these ridges as they try to heal and recover from the trauma. Your nails grow from a special place called the nail matrix, which is right under your cuticle. When you get a knock or constant pressure on your nails, it can mess up this growth process. The cells in the nail matrix kind of get jumbled up, and instead of laying down nice, even layers of keratin, they end up creating these ridges as the nail grows out. Number 5. Skin Conditions Let's say you've got something like eczema or psoriasis. These skin conditions can cause inflammation and rough patches on your skin. Now, your nails are right there, attached to that same skin. So when your skin is irritated and angry, it can mess with your nail growth too. The cells underneath your nails, where all the action happens, get a bit confused. Instead of laying down nice smooth layers of keratin, they start throwing down these ridges as the nail grows. So if you've been battling with these ridges and have some skin issues, tackling the skin problem might give your nails a break too. Number 6. Certain Medications Some medications can mess with your body's natural processes, including how your nails grow. One way they do this is by affecting the way your body absorbs or uses certain nutrients. Remember zinc and biotin, those superheroes for healthy nails? Well, some medications can mess with how your body handles these nutrients, leading to ridges as nails struggle to grow properly. But it's not just about nutrients. Some medications can also mess with your body's hydration levels. They make you more prone to dehydration, which disturbs the nail's growth process. 
Now, there's not a ton of research specifically linking certain medications to nail ridges, but it is definitely something to keep in mind. If you have noticed these ridges popping up after starting a new medication, it's worth consulting your doctor about it. They can help you understand if there is a connection and what you can do about it. Number 7. Thyroid Disease Thyroid hormones play a role in pretty much every process in your body, including how your nails grow. When you have too much thyroid hormone, hyperthyroidism, it can speed up everything, including nail growth. This can lead to nails that grow too fast and may appear thickened or lifted, causing those vertical ridges as they grow unevenly. Conversely, when you have too little thyroid hormone, hypothyroidism, things slow down. Your nails might grow more slowly and become thin and brittle. As they grow, they might develop those ridges due to the uneven growth caused by the slowed down process. But why does this happen? Well, it's because thyroid hormones influence the production of proteins, including keratin, which is the main protein in your nails. When thyroid levels are off, it can affect how keratin is produced, leading to changes in nail texture and growth patterns. We've made it halfway through our list, and we sincerely hope you've enjoyed it so far. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and ring the notification bell if you want to see more content like this. Let's move forward with the video. Number 8. Iron Deficiency Anemia when you're low on iron, it can mess with your body's ability to make enough hemoglobin, which is like the delivery guy for oxygen in your blood. Without enough hemoglobin, your cells, including the ones responsible for nail growth, don't get the oxygen they need to function properly. Now let's zoom in on your nails. When there is a shortage of oxygen due to iron deficiency anemia, nail cells don't work as efficiently. They become weaker and more prone to forming those ridges as they grow. And it's not just about oxygen. Iron is also involved in the production of collagen, which, as we talked about earlier, is super important for keeping your nails strong and healthy. So, boosting your iron levels through diet or supplements is a good start. Foods like spinach, red meat, and beans are rich in iron, so loading up on those can help replenish your body's iron stores. Number 9. Peripheral Artery Disease PAD. Peripheral artery disease is basically when your arteries, the blood vessels that carry oxygen-rich blood from your heart to your body, get all clogged up with plaque. Now, your nails might seem pretty far from your heart, but they're actually connected through the bloodstream. They need a good blood supply to grow nice and healthy. But when those arteries get clogged, they can't deliver enough oxygen and nutrients to your nails. As a result, the cells responsible for nail growth don't get what they need to function properly. They become weak and start forming those ridges as the nails grow unevenly. So, if you notice ridges on your nails and suspect PAD might be to blame, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider. They will recommend lifestyle changes, medications, or other treatments to manage PAD and improve your nail health. Number 10. Overexposure to Water Overexposure to water? It might sound odd, but soaking your nails too much can actually lead to those annoying vertical ridges. Our nails are like sponges. They soak up water. When you're constantly dunking them, whether from washing dishes, swimming, or soaking in the tub for hours, it can mess with the natural balance. They become soft and weak, and when your nails are all soft and wobbly, it's easier for them to get those ridges as they grow. So what can you do? Just be mindful of how much time your nails spend in water. If you're doing a lot of water activities or chores, like washing dishes, try wearing gloves to protect your nails. And after soaking, make sure to dry your hands and nails thoroughly. So yeah, water might be essential for life and all that, but too much of a good thing can lead to ridges. Number 11. Psoriatic Arthritis Psoriatic arthritis is an autoimmune condition where your immune system mistakenly attacks your own tissues, leading to inflammation. This inflammation can affect not only your joints, but also the skin around your nails. Especially the nail matrix, the area where nail growth occurs, is susceptible to inflammation in psoriatic arthritis. The inflammatory process disrupts the normal production of nail cells, causing them to become disorganized and leading to the formation of vertical nail ridges. Studies have shown that nail changes occur in approximately 80% of people with psoriatic arthritis, highlighting the significant impact of the condition on nail health. Number 12. Nail Biting When you munch on your nails, you are putting pressure on the nail matrix. This constant pressure disrupts the way your nails grow. Instead of growing out smooth and even, they start forming these ridges as they try to recover from the trauma of being bitten. Now let's talk about the psychological side of things. Nail biting is often a subconscious behavior triggered by emotions like stress, anxiety, or boredom. 
The more you bite, the more you reinforce the habit, creating a vicious cycle that is tough to break. But breaking the nail-biting habit is totally doable with the right approach. It's all about finding healthier ways to manage stress and anxiety, like deep breathing exercises, meditation, or even just taking a walk to clear your head. Plus, there are plenty of products like bitter-tasting nail polishes or fidget toys to keep your hands busy. And hey, if you need some extra motivation to quit, think about how satisfying it will be to finally have smooth, ridge-free nails. Number 13, Kidney Disease Kidney disease can mess with the levels of certain minerals and nutrients in your body, like calcium and phosphorus. These minerals play a big role in keeping your nails healthy and strong. When they're imbalanced, it can affect the way your nails grow. For example, too much phosphorus and not enough calcium can lead to changes in your nails' texture and structure. You might start noticing those vertical ridges as your nails grow. But it's not just about minerals. Kidney disease can also mess with your body's hydration levels. Remember how we talked about dehydration earlier and how it can cause nail ridges? Well, if your kidneys are not working properly, it can throw off your body's water balance, leading to dehydration. So, kidney disease can indirectly contribute to nail ridges by messing with your body's mineral balance and hydration levels. It's like a domino effect, where one thing leads to another, ultimately affecting your nail growth. Number 14. Genetic Factors Genes are like the blueprint for our bodies. They decide everything from our eye color to how tall we grow. And guess what? They also have a say in how our nails turn out. Now, there's not just one specific ridge gene hanging out in your DNA. It's more like a combination of different genes that influence how your nails grow and what they end up looking like. They determine things like the shape and thickness of your nails, as well as how fast they grow. Sometimes these genetic traits can predispose you to developing those vertical ridges. But hey, it's not all bad news. Knowing that genetics can play a role in those nail ridges can give you some peace of mind. After all, it's not something you can easily change, so there's no need to stress about it too much. Instead, focus on the things you can control, like staying hydrated, eating a balanced diet, and taking care of your nails. Number 15. Environmental Factors Let's start with something we're all familiar with, the weather. When it's cold and dry outside, our nails can take a hit. The lack of moisture in the air can leave our nails feeling thirsty, leading to those ridges as they struggle to stay hydrated. But it's not just the weather that's to blame. Think about all the things our hands come into contact with every day. Harsh chemicals from cleaning products like bleach or strong detergents can strip away the natural oils that keep our nails healthy, leaving them vulnerable to damage and those vertical lines. And let's not forget about our habits. Are you a frequent hand washer? While it is super important for preventing germs, overdoing it can actually be rough on your nails. All that soap and water can strip away the oils from your nails, leaving them dry and prone to ridges. So yeah, environmental factors can definitely play a role in the appearance of those vertical ridges. Number 16. Hormonal Changes When your body goes through hormonal changes like puberty, pregnancy, or menopause, it's like a roller coaster ride for your hormones. And guess what? Your nails can feel the effects too. Hormones play a big role in regulating nail growth by influencing the production of proteins like keratin, which is what your nails are made of. But when hormones are imbalanced, it can mess with this process, leading to those annoying vertical ridges. For example, during pregnancy, hormonal fluctuations can cause changes in nail texture, including ridges formation. It's like your body's way of saying, hang on, things are a bit chaotic in here. So if you're noticing those ridges popping up during hormonal shifts, don't stress too much. It's totally normal and happens to many of us. Number 17. Chemotherapy During chemo, those powerful drugs are busy targeting and killing fast-growing cells like cancer cells. But guess what else grows fast? Yep, your nails! So they get caught in the crossfire. But hey, it's not just about the growth speed. Chemotherapy can also mess with your body's hydration levels and the balance of nutrients it needs. Remember how we talked about dehydration and nutrient deficiencies causing ridges? Well, chemotherapy can contribute to those too. But here's the silver lining. Those ridges, they're often temporary. Once your body bounces back from chemo and finishes its fight against cancer, your nails start getting back to their old selves. It might take some time, but hang in there. So there you have it. Those pesky vertical nail ridges might seem mysterious, but now you know they are not always a sign of some major health scare. From nutritional deficiencies to aging, trauma to thyroid issues, and even genetic factors, there are a whole bunch of reasons why they might show up at your fingertips. But here's the good news. 
armed with this knowledge, you can take steps to keep your nails happy and healthy. So next time you spot those lines on your nails, don't panic. Instead, take a moment to assess your nail care routine and listen to what your body might be trying to tell you. And hey, if all else fails, there's always a good excuse to treat yourself to a relaxing manicure, right? Do you find this video informative or helpful? Let us know in the comments section below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Don't forget to like and share. Stay healthy!